Hey guys, welcome back to Mountain Dog Companion. Today we're going to be talking about Misty and Samson's litter of Greater Swiss Mountain Dog puppies. Um, they're actually around, um, I believe, five weeks old right now. Uh, coming along here very well. Got some tuggers going on, some teething, uh, chewing. Everyone's doing great. Some great personalities to talk about here. Uh, wonderful pups and just doing very well. Um, coming along great. So super excited to be talking about this litter here. Um, there's five girls and one boy um, out of the bunch. I know one of these puppies is reserved. Um, so I think we're planning on having that litter pick in Saturday, which I believe ends up being uh, the 10th of June if you're seeing this now later on. So, um, but we will keep the website up to date and posted um, as far as which one does get picked and which ones are still available. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about personalities here. I'm going to start off with uh, the green collar here, Sue over there on uh, your left hand side there. Uh, super sweet girly, way more laid back. I'd say probably one of the most laid back out of the group. A little bit on the smaller side, but I wouldn't say undersized by any means, just a little bit smaller than some of her litter mates. But gets along very well with litter mates, gets along with everyone else here. So uh, she's doing great. Her name's Sue. Um, and she's wonderful, a wonderful girl. She does have that little bit of a Swiss kiss up top. I don't know if you can see that right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Thanks, Krista. Um, but yeah, kind of has that neat look where the stripe almost extends and kind of wraps around in the collar area. So super sweet little girly more on the laid back side, I would say. Um, so again, that's Sue. Uh, next up, we're gonna move on to, um, we're gonna move on to, let's go with Max here. Uh, the blue collar chewing on my shorts. Um, sweet guy. I'd say mi middle of the pack when it comes to size. Um, I'd say as well, same thing with energy. He's not the most energetic, but he's also, also not the most laid back just a very sweet combination for him. Uh, beautiful stance there, you can see the nice wide. He'll be a big boy, um, he'll, he's definitely a Samson puppy, um, but super sweet little guy. And he is the only boy in the bunch, so um, of course he's outnumbered, but still ho holds his own weight in that category. So um, he's doing very well and has his sister chewing on his ear right now. So, um, but a sweet guy, this is Max of course. Um, gonna move on to Ruby over here sleeping in the grass. She looks up, she knows I'm talking about her. Super sweet girly. She's got a little bit less white overall. What's up? How are you? Um, a little bit less white on her face, but then it kind of makes up for it over top. Um, the back there just kind of has that stripe extending over top and wrapping around in a collar area. She's pretty laid back overall, more on the chill side. Um, and just a very sweet little girly, um, loves hanging around. She's very Velcro, um, but just very, very sweet um, and wonderful little girly. Does have her share of white and those tan points, points I feel like really pop for her because of, uh, because of that. It kind of takes up more of that facial um, look. So again, um, yeah, that's Ruby there. Uh, we'll move on to, let's see here, um, let's go with Jupiter here in the middle. Um, we'll go with Jupiter. She's got one blue eye, so I'm going to talk about her a little bit. Uh, Jupiter, this is very rare when it comes to like the blue eye thing, especially with uh, Greater Swissies and Bernice Mountain Dogs. Um, if, you, if you've seen us with Bernice Mountain Dogs, you don't really see that blue eye either. Um, I believe I've run across one puppy with a blue eye in the past, so, um, but very blue. Nothing wrong with it. It's not like anything's off or, you know, she's not blind or anything like that. It's just a really neat, I feel like a really neat feature. So some people might like it, some people might not. Uh, for me personally, I really like it. I feel like it's cool. Um, she's a very good girl. She's more on the energetic side of things. Uh, more on the playful side and um, keeps keeps her siblings in line, makes sure she's kind of the mom of the group. So uh, very beautiful combination of white there um, in her face, a little bit more white and those socks definitely extend down further in, uh, or kind of extend up further um, on her toes. So 
Um, super sweet girly there. Um, again, that's Jupiter with the blue eye and the pink collar. Um, we'll move on to the orange collar over here, uh, Misha. She is probably, I'd say, the most energetic out of the group. She's very Velcro. She'll follow you around everywhere. She wants to stick by your side. Even just if you're moving 10 feet, she's like right on your heels. So um, I would say a little bit more on the energetic side of things, but not super energetic. Like this, this breed isn't gonna be the, you know, the type to be bouncing off of walls by any sort. Um, so it's not like you'll get a very rambunctious dog, um, but just a little bit more on the energetic side of that spe spectrum. So, um, but very neat little girl there. She does have her share of white up front, nice white socks front and back, and a nice white tip tail as well. Not much of white up on top. Um, you can see a little bit in the collar area, uh, but not a crazy amount. Just a, a very nice amount of white and just a really nice look for her. I love her head. It's got that nice round bulky look. So that's one thing I really like about her. Um, her and Jupiter, of course, Jupiter's kind of got a bigger head as well. Um, but yeah, so she heard me talking about her. Um, I think we got one more to talk about. Did we talk about everyone? I think Royal. Yeah, so um, she's laying right here. She's the most laid back, the most timid, the most chill girly out of the bunch. Um, she's just more, more on the laid back side. Very fun to be around. She'll just hang out with you. Um, she's very easy going and just wants to, wants to hang out. She's very chill. A little bit more on the timid side. You'll see she'll snuggle up here with my feet and just, just take it easy. Um, but definitely more on the laid back side and and just for some reason a little bit more timid which i kind of personally like um, it's it's kind of a cool feature and she's just very easy going very affectionate and very fun to be around so um yeah so we got misha jupiter max sue royal and ruby here in this group so one boy and five girls outnumbering five girls outnumbering the one boy um, but everyone seems to be doing very well. I was super excited for this litter with Misty again. The combination of Misty and Samson seems to do very well um, as far as their confirmation and their coloring and their look and quality. So it's really something that I, I can appreciate for sure when it comes to this breed um, in general. So if you guys are looking for a Greater Swiss Mountain Dog Puppy, feel free to reach out to me uh, here at Mountain Dog Companion. My number is 330-234-0102. You can call or text. You can email us at mountaindogcompanion at gmail.com. Thanks again for tuning in today, guys. Stay posted. We'll see you next time.